This is the Seomur CY95 solar-powered wildlife trail camera. It's designed to be used outdoors, so you can fix it to a tree or use the tripod mount to mount it on a tripod, then leave it unattended and it can monitor wildlife either in its natural setting and habitat or wildlife visiting your garden overnight, for example. The most striking feature has to be this, the solar panel, and this keeps the internal battery topped up so the camera can be left unattended for extended periods. However, it does also have a battery backup facility so you can insert AA batteries and they will then act as backup. The camera, as you can see, is well designed and well built. It has the camera at the front, PIR sensors to each side which prime the camera so that it's ready to fire as something comes into shot. As mentioned to the rear, it has a tripod screw mount, so the camera can either be fitted to a tripod or you can use the angled bracket that is supplied with it to fix this to a post, a ceiling, a wall or wherever is appropriate. And there's also a tough webbing strap which fastens through these loops which means you can fasten it around a tree trunk for example or a post. It has good strong clips to the side which keep it securely closed and weatherproof. There's a micro SD card slot on the base and a card is supplied with the camera next to which is the micro USB charging port cable is included of course for giving the battery a good boost and then these are the control buttons here I found it very easy to set up simply in case to switch it into the setup mode and there is also a very useful manual written in good clear English with ample illustrations which ensure the camera can be used by anyone. But I haven't actually found I needed to use this because the menus are so intuitive. I'll just switch it into the menu mode. So these are the menus which are highly intuitive. The mode can be for photo and video, just video or just photos. But we'll set it for both. You can set the PIR intervals, the sensitivity. I tend to use low for large animals or high for smaller animals to make it more sensitive. Just set it for medium for now. It also does time lapse so you can monitor a flower opening and closing or a sunrise and sunset for example. You can see it's highly intuitive. Go on to the next menus. Image size it goes all the way up to 20 megapixels but in practice I tend to use just 8 because the quality is so good anyway. The video settings, again very high resolution available on this camera, all the way up to 4K. Unfortunately I don't have a 4K monitor so I'll just do it in standard HD and then there are the settings as well for language. Another benefit of this camera is its Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity which means the camera can be connected to a smartphone using the app. It just needs to be paired via Bluetooth first and then Wi-Fi. Just finding the CO Moor. Connect. So it's now connected. You can 
head back to the app and the camera and the phone are now paired which means I can operate the camera and its settings via the phone, image size, photo and video, in other words all the settings from the menus here are now accessed via the phone as is whatever the camera views. So I'll close up the camera I popped my toy frog in front and I'm now going to monitor what the camera sees on the phone. So as I move the camera the image moves on the phone. So I'm just moving the camera. I wave the frog with my hand. Oops, the camera fell down. It's balancing it on a carpet. But it shows how it works. So imagine that in a real genuine setting with the camera up a tree for example or on a post and you can now monitor what the camera sees on the phone you can take still images by pressing the camera and the camera button or video and everything the camera sees is now here on the phone which makes it very very practical for an outdoor camera. So I'll set up the camera now and we'll put it to real use and give it a proper test.